Hey guys, what up? I'm Dustin, and today I'm going to be doing a long play of Castlevania, the original on the N Nintendo. Well, if you guys aren't aware, I'm a big old Castlevania fan. I've been actually preparing for this uh, long play for a very long time. Actually, I had an old channel where I did a long play, but uh, I was horrendous at it, so... <laughs> In order to do it justice, uh... Uh, oh, and I missed the missed the treasure. But uh, anyway, to do it justice, I've been playing this game quite a lot, and actually, I can pretty much run through it uh, without too much trouble. But you know, because it's Castlevania, and I'm recording now, I'm sure I'll have problems. <laughs> but if you guys are unfamiliar with Castlevania, basically, you play as Simon Belmont, and you're uh, you have to go and kill Dracula. Not as easy as easy as it sounds. This game is very tricky. It's very difficult. It's one of the more, in my opinion anyway, one of the more difficult uh, Nintendo games. I don't want to say it's right up there with uh, Ghosts and Goblins or anything like that, because that game is uh, oh, goddamn impossible. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is uh, kind of up there, in my opinion, with uh, Ninja Gaiden, the series. Pretty fun game, though. So yeah, when playing the game, you basically just you kind of have to know where, where people are, or where enemies are, and what kind of uh, power-ups to use, and how to use them, and how to kill bosses. Right now I have the Holy Water power-up, um, which I have called the uh, the boss killer, because it kills bosses. And when I get to bosses, I'll kind of show you why. Uh, okay, I'm going to try that again. It's my attempt at a shortcut. I'm going to try you all the little tricks that... There we go. Try it, show you some of the tricks that I know... Uh, on this game, as well as uh, different uh, secrets and things like that. And I'm only playing it on normal mode. Basically, when you beat the game, you defeat Dracula, you go to uh, hard mode, which is, uh, yeah, definitely difficult and hard. And I cannot see my sprite. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm playing this on an emulator. I actually I own the game, and I, beat the, I can beat the crap out of it up. And, uh... Come on, bat. <laughs> anyway, this is the first boss of the game. He's just a, a, a bat. A vampire bat, I guess. I don't know the names. I just know that they go down because they're very top-heavy. <sighs> and I kind of like that, getting uh, these special power-ups stuck. So if you jump on that red orb at the end of the level, after you defeat a boss, your health is replenished, and uh, it freezes your character and anything that you throw. <laughs> right now I have the axe. The axe you usually don't use. I, I think you usually don't only use it on the uh, first boss there. And this is the... It's technically a cross, but they I believe they changed it to a boomerang. Oops, sorry, a little bumped. So here's a little, one little hidden sort of secret. If you break up the wall, walk into it, and get that crown, which will basically just get you points and... Uh, Points, uh, like most games, you get enough points, you get an extra life. First 30,000 points, you get an extra life, and then every 50,000 thereafter. Believe it or not, pretty simple. <laughs> Actually, I can walk through this game. Usually I can get to Dracula without dying, and I'll have, like, five lives. Because I'm a beast. Yeah, and you, it, like I said before, you really want to know... Uh, where certain power-ups are because uh, the game can be a bit tricky especially if you want to hang on to something and you're feverishly whipping at candlesticks um, it can really screw you up especially there's a part in here where there's hunchbacks and these Medusa heads can uh, be fun not well they can't oh oh see what I'm talking about that that is the dagger there that is completely worthless don't ever pick that up just leave it alone <laughs> unless you accidentally pick it up which I actually do even though I beat the crap out of this game so um yeah I guess I can kind of explain for anybody who hasn't played it if you have I'm sure you can just sorta of, you can just kind of check out your brain right now but uh, yeah in the game you're given hearts and uh, the amount of hearts basically is uh, 
Uh, the amount of times you can use your special weapon, like right now I'm using a boomerang, I can throw 17 boomerangs. And I also have the, the double shot, which is that two up in the upper right corner. Um, you can get you can power it up to two or three, so you can throw, throw three boomerangs, or if you have holy water, you can... Oh, well, I was not feeling that one. <laughs> so you can throw three holy waters. So, But every time you get a new special weapon, it resets your, uh, your shot count, I guess. It's the best way I can explain it for anybody who's new. But yeah, I, I know this game pretty much like the back of my hand. I'm sure there's uh, a couple things I might miss here or there. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty fun game. I mean, I recommend it. I mean, I, I own this. I own Castlevania 2, as well as uh, Castlevania 3. This one being my favorite. Castlevania 2 also being my least favorite. I don't really care for that game. Like a lot of people. <laughs> These guys here can give you a little... Oh, geez, this guy's giving me trouble. Well, basically, yeah, the holy water's great because you can uh, you can use it to stop enemies. They'll just stop right on the screen and they cannot move, as I demonstrated there with that ghost. And you can also use it to your advantage to take out bosses, and it is... It's very beastly against bosses. It takes out death, it takes out Medusa. Actually, I want to say that I use it on... With the exception of the bat, I think I believe I use it on all the bosses because it, it's so damn effective. And here I'll show you why. Because if you use it on Medusa, she just simply cannot move, and uh, yeah, she just takes it deep. <laughs> yeah. Nope, I missed that shot. There we go. Oh, and I missed it. I was trying to get a holy water jammed up in the sky or in the air. <laughs> so that is uh, level two or stage six. I just call them levels. I believe there's five levels, or I don't know. For some reason, it's divided into different stages, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a journey. This game is very fun. First time, like I said, first time playing through it, you it's a, it's a nightmare. <laughs> um, but if, yeah, you know, you, you, you start to learn where enemies are and how to take, you know, take them out. And these hunchbacks are a pain in the ass. I don't like them. Uh, but, you know, keep at it. Ah, uh, shit. My, uh, okay, I thought I messed up there. And I got an extra life because I hit the 30,000 point mark. So, yeah. There's a lot of different enemies that do different things, and there's ways to kill them and go about it. You know, you know, if you kind of... This is the easiest way I figured out to beat the game. Take out that, and there's a skeleton in front of you, and then that guy. So, it's not, not too hard. These birds sometimes here can be... A bit erratic at times. Oh my god, I cannot see my my sprite. I do not like. <laughs> see, that's what I mean by those birds being erratic. They just completely flew off the screen. I don't know why they do that. <laughs> they just do. And there's another secret. I'll say, secret in quotes. Sort of power up or not power up points. Uh, right here, there's an axe. You can sort of use that to your advantage if you want to get the boomerang in this next part. Uh, but I opt to keep the uh, triple shot. Holy water, because it is very good against the uh, the next boss. But I'll talk about that when I get to it. Here you can just pretty much walk straight, and the Medusa heads will fly right underneath you. you come up to a couple stairs up uh, on the top left there. That is the boomerang. You can use the axe to get to it. But if you walk straight and then just go up, you basically take no damage. It's pretty cool. I don't want to say I'm like professional at this game, but oh Jesus. And there you go. It's the dreaded Let's Play curse. I can walk through this game, but for some reason when I hit record, it's like all my senses just go to shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I've I've died on that boss. I heard that on that enemy in a long time. And as soon as I hit record, I'm doomed. <laughs> But I'm gonna keep going on. Keep on keeping on, brother. Grr, grr, grr. And that guy, that's weird. He didn't, okay, there he goes, he jumped away. Usually that guy falls down, but uh, what do you do? And here's the very, uh, well, that's a time stopper. I thought I was gonna get a dagger. I knew there was a special item there, and I just could not remember which one it was, so. Uh, so yeah, these guys here, these pillars, shoot two flames, and uh, they take six hits to, to, uh, to kill them. These birds here are annoying. You know, and that's the reason why I don't like playing these on emulators, because every time I get hit, I cannot, like, I can't see 
where I am. And that's really, uh, that's not good. So, yeah. So, the next, uh, the enemy, uh, the boss at the end of this level is, uh, two mummies. And if I had the holy water, you'd just stand up on top of this, uh, ledge and just firebomb them without taking any damage. But, uh, now I'm kind of screwed, so. Yeah, in order to get this Let's Play just right, I've recorded this, quite honestly, a couple times. Yeah, it's not been going so good. <laughs> but hopefully this time around. Who knows? First time I recorded it, there was no video. Second time I recorded it, the audio was really choppy and yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't lining up correctly. So, And I didn't do very well either, to be completely honest. I don't like these birds, man. I don't know why they fly so erratic, but... Oh, oh. But if you walk away, the uh, screen eats them up and they just disappear. Thanks. Thanks, screen. The screen is your, like... <laughs> can be like a weapon. Oh, that was weird. I only hit him once. Uh, right there is... Oh, I'm sorry. Right here is the dagger. Um, well, I guess I can hang on to this even though I can't really use... It. You can't really use this weapon on the bosses, which is kind of a bummer. The trick here with these guys is uh, just bunch them together and just whip the hell out of them. That's all I can really say if, is if you don't have the holy water. <laughs> The, the time stopper does not work against these guys. <laughs> I don't know you can do that. <laughs> you can stop the music completely and screw it up. <laughs> kind of did a delay on that one. It was a little funny. That little funny. Alright, moving on here is level what, 3 or 4? I forget. This is level 4. Or stage 10. I say this is my, my my absolute least favorite level of the entire game. It's uh, incredibly frustrating, even though I've played this uh, quite a lot. Some of these like enemies here can really screw you up, especially if you don't know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing, and I still like I still get my ass kicked on this level. I have no idea why. Actually, I know why. It's those friggin' bats. Those bats. Uh, they. <sighs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. I need, I kind of needed that. So, yeah, there's a part there I was gonna show you guys where you just kind of stand there and that uh, that vampire bat flies underneath you. But I, had, I was at a good timing. Or, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Basically, if you stand on that ledge, you kind of want to wait for that bat to fly by you, and then jump on those ledges because that part there can be very tricky. And this part here is very tricky too, especially. Uh, if you don't have the timing down, these hunchbacks can be a pain in the ass. And these guys also could be a pain in the ass because sometimes they'll just drop an axe, you walk right over it, and it'll screw you up big time. Uh, my timing's a bit off. There we go. See, I want I, I kind of want uh, one of these to drop an axe because it seems like when I'm doing very well in this game, like I want to have a holy water triple shot. It just totally like the the percentage of me actually getting. The axe seems to go up drastically. Like the game is trying to <laughs> trying to fuck me up a little bit. And this guy, you just, just walk straight underneath him. Yep. That's how you do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish I had a, a double shot here, but uh, it'll do. That second candlestick there is a dagger. Just leave it alone. It's worthless. Ah, yes. And that's how. You okay, there we go. Cool. There's some food, some hearts, and some more money bags. Which is just points, basically. So now I have the uh, holy water. I can definitely beat this. Uh, oh god, this next boss here with really like no, no effort at all. I'm not even gonna. Oh god, just die! What the? F oh my god. Uh, sometimes those guys will die in one hit or two hits, and sometimes they'll take 18 hits. I have no idea why. Somebody knows why. Explain it to me, because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you how to beat uh, Frankenstein here with a hunchback. That's all you do. Pretty simple. If you don't have the holy water, it's very tough, because that uh, the hunchback guy will jump all around and throw fireballs at you while Frankenstein is moving back and forth. It's kind of irritating. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Got it stuck. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, and I got something stuck in the air, too. <laughs> Getting pretty close to uh, an extra life here, actually. It's 
Just almost at 80,000. There we go. Cool beans. So yeah, moving on. This level can be very tricky, but for me it's not a problem anymore because I learned how to take out certain enemies. But when I get to them, I'll definitely point it out. These guys here, just throw fire, holy water at them if you got it. Otherwise, you have to learn their tricky pattern, which can suck. That guy up there, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna punch him in his stupid face. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I hate that guy. He's so annoying. <laughs> That guy always gives me troubles. Yeah, and it's in on these stages that, like, because I have the holy water, the triple shot, that you have to be really careful when you kill enemies, because sometimes they'll just, oh, let's just drop a dagger on you, and you're like, I don't really want that piece of junk. <laughs> so and the, the holy water, in my opinion, on this level is, is absolutely, like, you need it. No question. There's a secret right up there. So if you don't have, uh, you know, the triple shot or whatever, that, uh, that'll that give it to you. Oh, man, I'm fucking up here. Usually I jump and hit that. Throw it right through there. Here, I'll show you a little. Well, no, he's uh, farther back. There he is. Jeez, get away from me. You too. <laughs> I'm going to try to make uh, that skeleton go away. I'm going to show you something here. Okay, he's not going away. He's going to be a jerk. Let's go like that. Sometimes that'll give you a double shot or triple shot, but although also if you're doing low on health, just open that and get full health, just like I did. No problem, really. This I like right here. Check that out. <laughs> the way these guys work is if, um, like, he's standing there and I'm running going toward him, he will f go back. He'll go back into this wall, but um, these guys, if, uh, like, you throw holy water and you go like this, they'll walk toward you right into that fire and they'll die, which is really uh, pretty nice. Seeing that guy? I'm trying to get him to... Okay, that's not gonna work. Anyway, but basically, if you're running toward them, they back up, but then uh, vice versa. This is the easiest way I could figure out how to take this guy out, because these guys could be a pain in the ass. I don't like to take a bunch of damage. Ugh, I meant to jump. There we go. No. Just keep doing this and rinse and repeat until he dies. Ugh, oh, God. It's... The, the, one of the problems with this game, and I like to address, is that... If, uh, you're trying to... Like, okay, to throw power-ups, you hit up and A, or B. But if you're next to a stairs, they'll just start going up the stairs, and you can't hit the enemies, and you can't jump off the stairs, which is a major problem in this video game. And stairs are, like, if you're a, a newbie to the games, uh, stairs are definitely worse than the bosses, because you will fall off ladders and, or stairs and die a lot. So, definitely get the feel of how to do that, and, uh, yeah, you won't really have too many problems. to point out, I, I realize I missed a secret in another level, but if you stand here, you get a uh, thousand points. Just like, whose line is it anyway? A thousand points for everybody. I missed that show. <laughs> that was good stuff. Oh. And another secret. Not a secret, I guess. A hidden part, rather. Actually, uh, I'm a little quite well now. Actually, now that I've said that, I probably completely jinxed myself. Oh, yep. It begins. <laughs> the Let's Play curse. God, I just want that guy to kind of go away. So I can show you guys one more thing here. There we go. Now I got up there. Okay. Jump here. Boom. Another thousand points. Comes in handy, especially if you're running low on lives, but it uh, doesn't really matter because uh, there's infinite amount of continues on this game. However, if you continue, though, you lose uh, your points, which is fine because I guess then uh, you only have to get 30,000 points instead of 50,000, so... Well, whatever, but uh, you end up losing uh, some of your progress and you start the whole uh, whatever level you're on all over again. This next part can be a little bit tricky. There's a stone or pillar that shoots fireballs. Just wait. Take him out. Ugh. Well, I botched that. 
Oh, yep, almost. Watch that. There we go, die. Uh, ah, yes. Ah, it makes me nervous. I really hate losing my uh, holy water. The candlestick right there is actually boomerang. Some people actually prefer that to take out the uh, the final boss on this level, but uh, I use holy water just because you don't have to really do anything. Be a lazy boss killer. These red skeletons never die, they just keep coming back. And... Oh ho ho, yes! Oh no, I wanna get this in- no. Oh well, I really don't need it. Kinda wanted that invincibility. Like, sometimes you can line up those uh, sentinel guys with uh, Medusa heads and burn them both. Get some good points. And right here is where the Medusa heads stop flying around like jackasses. And this part here, this uh, this boss gave me the most absolute most trouble I've ever had in a video game. But now he's not a problem. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Uh, the boss killer. Because normally death throws around or the Grim Reaper throws around sickles. But uh, not anymore, because he can't move. So suck on that. <laughs> ah, so that was uh, second to final level. Coming up here is... Uh, coming up here on uh, Castlevania... F I'm not stupid. Anyway, um, coming up here is going to be uh, the last final level. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty tricky. It's very tricky, even for a guy like me. And some parts can be kind of... Really tedious and boring, especially at the end, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys here. <sighs> Sometimes those guys will just dive bomb on you for no reason. It's really strange. Like, this game, I love this game, but at times it can just, like, that is so completely random, I will never understand that. And I think it's only because I was doing well. I think this next time I rock, walk through it, I don't think they're ever gonna attack me. But basically, just kind of do what I do. You don't you just don't even stop to fight these guys. See now, he's not dive bombing, only because I didn't have the trip. Oh, mm. Okay, there. I couldn't see where I was going. I I I don't understand that. I whatever. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm not getting frustrated because this game used to frustrate the crap out of me, but now I can actually manipulate it to my advantage. But it still gives me problems. Problems. Yeah, I mean, it, this game definitely could be a speed, you know, speed run, run, uh, very easily. But sometimes it's just completely random stuff, like those bats dive bombing, and now they're not even doing it. And I don't understand why. It's just really weird. <sighs> yeah, getting pretty close here to Dracula, actually. He's a butthead, so I'm gonna go kill him. He actually owes me like ten bucks. That's why I'm on a big mission. <laughs> uh, if you're playing this, never go past these stairs because uh, those birds will start dropping those stupid ass hunchbacks on you, and that's no fun. Cause you want every bit of life that you can get. <sighs> Jeez. <sighs> stupid ass stairs. I hate these stairs so much. There we go. That's a good thing about having an axe on that part because uh, that guy there is he's an obnoxious jerk. I, you know, in this part, I can't, I can't run, walk through here without taking a bunch of damage. Dang it. Alright, well, it's okay. I got one life. I have one life. Or actually, two lives, to be uh, honest. To try to get to Dracula without having to restart the level, so I'm definitely going to give it another go. guys can be a pain. Okay, there we go. I don't have my axe. So I have to do, I take these, this guy out the alternative way, which is usually I take a bunch of damage. Wow, I can't believe I did that without taking a bunch of damage. <laughs> Alrighty. Usually in this part I don't stop, I just keep going. Oh, thank god. I got through that actually with no damage. That was amazing. Oh, I might get through this again with no damage. Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. Yeah, and don't, don't ever stop on this part, just keep walking. And that... Okay, and now... Now we're at Dracula. 
The problem with this, though, is that because now I only have the dagger, you have to build up your hearts. Which is really tedious. You want about 70, 80 hearts. That's just my rule of thumb. You know, definitely, you know, this is just the way I play the game. I'm really hoping I can beat this in one shot and wrap it up because this is actually giving me nothing but trouble, so... I don't know if that froze there, my my uh, screensaver actually came up because I've been playing straight through for so long. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to, you can probably fast forward this part a little bit. Um, it's a little tedious, I just kind of walk back and forth collecting hearts until I'm about 70 to 80. You absolutely need him, because Dracula has two forms, and uh, the second form, you have to firebomb the shit out of him. I would guess you have to throw about 40 to 50 holar waters at them before he dies. And it can be really... I mean, it's the easiest way, as far as I'm concerned, to beat Dracula without having too much skill. I mean, I think I'm pretty skilled at this game, but, like, when it comes to bosses, I just figured out the easiest, laziest way I could take them out, and that, that you know, it's holy water all day long. I've seen walkthroughs or run-throughs of people using boomerangs or, <clears throat> you know, axes and things like that, and I, I don't know. I just don't have the patience to try to learn something like that. Yeah, you don't want to go walk too far to the left. Looks like I'm uh, nearing uh, my heart cash that I want to build up here. Sometimes I'll just throw money bags on you. I want hearts, damn it. There we go. Alright. Again, holy water. Cool. Right away he gave me that, uh, oh you bitch. <laughs> right away he gave me that double shot. And that's what I'm aiming for right now because you really need it. Hmm. There we go. Now I can now I can start beating his face. God. Okay. I hope I don't die, because that would really suck. Hmm. There's definitely a timing that you have to get down on this game. Whoa. Almost walked into Dracula. Ah, missed. Yeah, if you jump too early, you'll get hit by fireballs. You'll shoot them high. Which you saw before, I think. should have hit. That should have hit as well. Okay, that one good. Fuck. Oh. Get a little nervous here. Three more hits. Two more. Ooh. That was close. You got nothing. You got nothing, son! That should have hit. Ugh. Fuck. Okay, I cannot get hit once more. I'm dead. <sighs> yes. Alright, here we go. That's how you take out the final boss. You hear my controller clicking like crazy? <sighs> a little nervous because I really just want to end this uh, Let's Play. It's taken me so much time and effort to get to this point here. Come on, die. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't want to die. Yes, and I did it. Oh, your mother. <laughs> and there you go. That is Castlevania on normal. Whew. Now I can put my controller down and relax and breathe. I can't believe I... I'll be honest. I've never gotten to Dracula on the first shot and the first try without dying. So that was amazing.
can't remember how many times I died. I want to say I died once? Twice? I don't know. Pretty good for me. But uh, anyway, guys, um, yeah, after you beat the game here, you go to hard mode, but I'm not going to show it, so... I'm just going to wrap it up here. You can look at the uh, the credits here. Watch Castlevania crumble. Um, yeah, the guys, thanks for watching the video, especially if you made it this far. If you did make it this far in the comments, just uh, say that you made it this far. Just say something like strawberry bananas or something. I don't know, whatever, a code. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Dustin. Thanks for watching my Let's One play. Have a good one. See you next time. Alrighty.